All right, guys, Joshua Day with Champions Fishing. We are at Holston River Outfitters here in beautiful Blaine, Tennessee. Came down here today. I uh, had the Mokin 12.5, as you guys know. We had uh, that boat filled up with water, and we nearly lost everything, and so we decided to come and get the lure. Appreciate the guys here at Holston River Outfitters. They're stellar people, and uh, took good, real good care of me this morning, so I brought the lure back that Phil Free had sent me uh, from a warranty. Brand new kayak, we just traded out for another kayak here. Uh, got this one here. So I'm going to turn around real quick, show you the new Lure 11 5 V2. And uh, we're going to get on the road, and next time we'll be on the water. So God here bless. it is. This is the new kayak. It is the Lure 11.5. It is the V2, as you can see here. 34 inches wide in the cockpit. The gravity seat is amazing. It comes with a high-back gravity seat. And then... Um, as you can see, here's the, the storage here at the stern of the boat. Got up the bow, uh, plugs and everything's in here. So really excited about this. Looking forward to get it on the water. Uh, when we get on the water, we're going to do the stand-up test, obviously, on this thing. Show you how that works. Uh, feel comfortable with standing on this one versus the other one that I had. So, all right, guys, we're going to get out of here. Again, check out Host River Outfitters in Blaine, Tennessee. Tell them Josh with Champions Fishing sent you their way and they'll take good care of you we appreciate you guys very much god bless you all right guys we just got the feel free lure back home i wanted to do a quick walk around with you guys one of the things that i love about the lure is the fact that you have these flat surfaces where you can mount uh, if you wanted a, like a red and, and green light here in the front for navigation, you could do that. You've got a place here if you wanted to na mount your sonar, or excuse me, your uh, fish finder, a mount for your GoPro or whatever. You could do that there. You've got one over there on the other side as well. Um, right here, this is another flat area. Inside the hole, of course, this is the sonar pod that came with the unit um, inside that. Well, let's just go ahead and unwrap it here. Now I'm gonna do this one-handed because I don't have another way to, um, you know, do this, so. Let's see here. Oh, give me just a second here. I'm going to set this camera uh, somewhere here, well. Anyway, I won't worry about that right now, but in, inside of the sonar pod, you have the scupper plugs for the cockpit area of the Feel Free Lure V2. Okay, 11.5 V2. This is the ocean camo. Blue is my favorite color, as you can see. I love blue. So this is back to the original contrast scheme that, that I was going for with the blue, because blue is my favorite color. And I like it. Now, here we have the gravity seat very simple to uh, put on there's these brackets right here they go around and you just um, twist this right here around and it locks in place with the gravity seat of course you've got this lever here you pull on this and of course the seat will go down it's I don't have it buckled here in the front that's why it's like moving like it is so it's just I'm not leaving the seat on it I just put it on there just for this video so Coming back to the stern, we have our flush mount rod holders. There are two of those. There are no cup holders on here, but I could squeeze like a bottle of water down here if I wanted to, like, you know, like my a big bottle, I could do that. It'll fit well. On the seat too, this is going to come in so, so handy because I can put my pliers here. They're there, my fish grips, whatever, it's there. I don't have to worry about it. I do have a crate bag. You've seen the video probably already for that. It'll mount right here. Um, these can slide up and down just like this. And let me unclip this here from that. Again, I'm doing this one handed, so it may not work properly. We'll, just, we'll do that in a minute. Here, I'll move this back up. Maybe they'll take some pressure off for me. There we go. These things are pretty hard. These are for your rod holders. And as you can see, they're pretty they're pretty stout. So um, go ahead and pull that off. There we go. So I can move this back like this if I want. So 
move it all the way back to the back like that. If I'm not going to be using it, I've got plenty of room here to store stuff in the back. Coming on back to the very rear of the boat, you've already got your place to uh, mount your rudder. I will be getting a rudder system for this uh, soon to have. Here's the famous wheel and the keel. Um, I am going to go through here, tighten up every screw, um, make sure that everything is tight because from traveling, you know, from myself, and then also when the boat was shipped to Host River Outfitters where I picked it up today, uh, there's probably, um, what is that there? Okay. That scared me for a second. I was like, ah, we got a hole in the boat. But anyway, we don't. So that's good. Okay, so anyway, this is where you drain the water. On the Moken, it was up top. On the lure, it's here on the side. I like that on the side better. And I like the fact that here on the lure, um, there is a place where you can grip under here if you're going to hold this. Of course, you do have the handle here in the back. And, and, and these are very good. Again, like I said, I'll go ahead and double check all the screws. Make sure they're perfect. But coming around to this side again, you've got these... Um, unit tracks here so you can mount your stuff you can put uh, your fishing rod you know on here and button it down there is the rod tip protectors up front you've got another pouch on this side of the seat the right side of the seat that is amazing uh, that this you know is velcroed right here underneath that we'll make sure that's on well I have heard this kayak seat is like there's like nothing better out there on the market than this one, so I'm excited about that. The boat is 11 and a half feet long. The Moken was 12 and a half feet long, and so I'm sacrificing a foot in length. But honestly, I feel like I'm getting a whole lot more boat for just a little bit more money. I'm getting the gravity seat. I'm getting the accessories with this for the storage. Um, I'm getting a larger standing platform so that I can actually stand up in the kayak and I feel like with the, with the seat being able to uh, adjust 10 different positions, I'll actually have a place for me to, you know, I'll be able to stand up in this boat finally, which is what I wanted because I fish long hours on the water. And so it's very important for me to be able to have a platform to fish on because that's what a kayak is it's a platform to fish on without having to have a you know expensive boat and things like that even though these things are not cheap these these are twelve hundred dollars for these kayaks but they're worth every penny uh, of money and again the room inside the cockpit that i have now versus what i had in the moken to me is worth every penny so i'm going to go ahead and put the scupper plugs in the kayak. Um, I'll put them in the back of the uh, cockpit area. I'll put two here. Then I believe, yeah, there's two more that go here, right here underneath the seat, two here, and then two up front. I'll leave those in the front open because that way if water does get into the cockpit area, it'll have a place that they can run down to and train it. I may uh, yeah, I'll do that and then just leave these, put these uh, other ones in here so that that area stays dry and then this area here will stay open to drain. Again, with the sonar pod, um, thankfully the sonar pod for the lure and the moken are the exact same hole, same size, same everything. So all I've got to do is take my fish finder that's already mounted on the other sonar pod, drop it right in here, then I'll have an extra sonar pod for whatever. Uh, if I want to take the kayak out without the fish finder, um, I can do that. Or if I want to mount the fish finder here or here, um, I can do that and then, you know, use the other sonar pod that's already got the fish fish finder set up on it. I may I may actually just mount my fish finder here and run, just keep my other sonar pod with uh, with ever the way the, the way it is now for my battery and stuff like that, and just mount my sonar to the side because I don't have to have it right here in my face and that'll allow me to get that out of the way for sure because i should be able to do a lot have a lot more room on this platform versus the 
uh, other kayak that I used to have. So looking in, everything here looks solid. Uh, Feel Free is known for quality, uh, putting out quality products, and I believe they do. I just had some bad luck on the other Moken, and even another Moken that they sent me for a replacement. Had to get another replacement, and then we had to just get rid of the other stuff, and you know, this is just the way it is. So I'm really excited about this. I actually have a light that I will mount here, and then I have a light that'll go on my crate bag, or um, I may just pop, I don't know, I may just leave the other light on my crate bag and, and leave it that way, because it has a an area here with uh, five rod holders. Then I've got one, two, so I can actually hold seven rods now on this kayak. If you count the two rod tip protectors up front, I can get another two rods up here. So I can actually now have nine rods with me while I'm fishing. Not that I'm going to do that, but I can. And I like the fact that I can now versus uh, before I did not have that, which you could say I, I could have that on the Moken because of the crate bag, right? Or I could make my own crate and have that, but... I really love this back tank well. Um, I like this here. You know, water gets in here. The way it's designed here is it can drain just straight out, you know, right there and that. So this is the Allure, the Allure 11.5 version 2. You see how thick it is here. It's a very nice kayak. Very nice kayak. And I'm... Right now, where I've had the problem that I had out of the uh, Moken, I'm really making sure that that there's no holes anywhere whatsoever, cracks, because because I just don't want to go through what I went through before. I mean, it really gave me PTSD. So I'm excited about this boat. I'm excited about what is to come in this kayak uh, with being able to get out on the water and really feel free right so we're excited about it again this is champions fishing here gonna go ahead and sign off gonna go ahead and get this stuff taken care of what i need to get done i'll have a picture of it when i'm finished uh, with the scupper plugs in here attached to this video again thank you guys for watching this i am super excited about this kayak and i can't wait to bring you more content uh, on it god bless you guys we'll see you next time remember you're a champion be one